Guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces round 9152. We're gonna solve the second problem that is beginner Zelda. Let's see what the problem states. So we are given a uh, tree. So those of you who don't know about tree, don't skip the video. Just read, uh, watch the video completely. Then you'll just find out what the problem states. So they are uh, stating an operation as Zelda operation, but for simplicity, let's assume it's just an operation. So we are choosing two vertices of the tree U and V. So vertices means it's generally a node. Okay, the numbers are written here, right? Those are called as vertices. Uh, after choosing that, compress all the vertices on the path from U to V into one vertex. In other words, all the vertices on path U to V will be erased from the tree and new vertex W will be created. So what happens is here they chose phi and one. Okay. After choosing phi and one, whatever comes in the path, they're combining it together. So phi, uh, four, three to one, everything gets combined into one to five and phi had a link to 11, right? The edge to 11 will get uh, that, that edge will be combined into the common vertex and uh, uh, two also had a link to nine that also will be combined into the common vertex so uh, we have to find the minimum number of zelda operations for the tree to have only one vertex so a tree is basically an acyclic undirected graph they just specifically mentioning that there are no loops here there is no directed uh, edges here so here you can compress all of this and make to one vertex. Now again, I can compress all of this and make to one vertex. Again, I can compress all of this, make to one. Then again, you can compress. So at last only one vertex remain. They are asking, what is the minimum number of operation you need to perform such that you, if you keep compressing it, uh, the result should be only one vertex. That's all. So let's understand this with the help of an example so that uh, it will be more clear. So here uh, they gave a simple example like 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. So in this case, 1, 2, 1, 3 and 1, 4. 1, 2, 1, 3, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 1, 3, 3, 4. Here what can I do? I can simply combine all of this and say that 2 to 4 is one vertex. So only one operation has happened here. This is one example, but it's very trivial. Let's not go for this. Let's take some more complex example. That is the second one. So let's uh, say that three to one. How do we represent it? Three to one can be written as three to one. Then three to five, three and five have an edge. Three to two, three to two have an edge. Then five to six, six to seven, uh, seven to eight, seven to nine and six to four. Okay, so let's do one thing. Instead of seven to eight writing like this, we can write like this, okay. Now, we this is the tree that we got. Uh, in other words, we call it as undirected uh, uh, graph. Okay, undirected acyclic graph. So, uh, what do we do now? So, what are the possibilities I can uh, con converge this? So, they already know that the answer is three. We have to get the answer as three. How can we combine this? What we can do is we can combine five and six together, five, six, seven together or six, four together. But the best way is we should always find out what is the maximum way we can combine a set of vertices. So what do I do? I would see the longest path here and combine it. So I go through all these elements here and combine it. If I combine all of this, I can just say that one to eight is one, right? 1 to 8 is 1 vertex and already 2 is a link here. I connect it to 2, I connect it to 9 and I connect it to 4. Okay, so in one operation, I got this. Now what do I do? I combine again. So if I want to combine again, I can choose these two or these two anything. But I want to choose the longest one. Everything is only at the same size. So let me choose this one. Okay, now if I choose this, I can say that one to uh, so this is the uh, second operation so here what happened four one to eight and two combined to one vertex and it combines to nine now there is only one choice i need to combine i need to combine all these vertices together if i want to combine all these vertices together it will be to get uh, so this is the third operation if you do the third operation it will be four one to eight two and nine so this is one vertex that's how they got the answer as three. So this three is the output. But here we just uh, did it. What did we do? We found the longest path. We combined it again. Nine was remaining. 
we combined it we kept on combining with three operations but uh, how do we understand it how do we know whether this is the actual answer we are looking for right but if you are familiar with it if i want to uh, go through a graph uh, or a tree like there is many algorithms right one is depth first search and one is breadth first search what does breadth first search do i don't know what how to solve the problem so i just try for breadth first search breadth first search means i just want to try out like uh, what is the uh, how many breadth levels are here so here you see i start from 3 so 1 5 2 will be at second level 6 5 uh, 6 will be at uh, third level uh, 4 7 uh, will be at uh, fourth level like so on like uh, not the exact level i am just telling how the flow works but uh, can we correlate this number 3 with the number of levels here definitely not right it is not making any sense at all because uh, if we take these numbers like 1 to 8 this 2 which is at the first level the breadth uh, uh, first or the second uh, breadth level is not coming if we consider 2 3 5 6 7 8 then also this 1 will remain so even though if they are at the same level we cannot correlate it now so we are striking out breadth first search from our uh, idea now let's go for depth first search depth first search what happens you keep going inside and then you come back then you go to 9 visit it you go back go to 4 visit it then go back here you go back to 1 visit it and go back to 2 you visit it but 1 and 2 are visited at last only but as you saw earlier one is a participant for the first uh, combination right one is also there eight is also there but in depth first search we keep going but how do we know which one to include or which one to ignore that is also not possible probably if you are so good at bfs or brfs maybe you might be able to solve it but i don't know but what is one thing uh, we can understand from here is we very well know that 5 to 6 making a uh, combination of uh, vertices inside a certain tree does not make any sense so what do we do we always take the extreme edges uh, here edges means not they just ends so we take the extreme ends in tree or graph terms you call this as something what do you call this this is as leaf or leaves so we take the extreme leaves 1 and 8 then combine it together again what happened you combine everything now 2 and 4 is also a leaf so you combine all this now 9 is also a leaf you combine all of this now you got all but is there any other way you can solve it so i can just say that instead of all of this uh, i can take like 2 is there 5 is there 7 is there 9 is there then this leaf i can take if i take this leaf what happens i can just go for 1 4 and 8 will point to the common vertex that is 2 to 9 i can take any combination then again i am doing for leaf only here that is this one 4 uh, 2 to 9 and 8 and you combine it with 1 again leaf only is coming right so what did we understand here who is playing a major role the leaf is only playing a major role here the two leaves is responsible to compress the graph then again if some more leaf is there i can take help of it and compress it again that's all now what should be the answer here i just want to find out the leaf now let's for this example i can say that there we have one leaf here two leaf here three third leaf here fourth leaf here fifth leaf is also here we know that two leaf will how will form one vertex this two leaf can form one vertex this two leaf can form one vertex i'm just telling a random example and uh, there is also one more leaf here because it will be like a straight line right even if one more vertex comes here i can combine this everything but no vertex is here so i can directly close this so what do i do i got um, one set two set and the third set so how do we do 5 by 2 in uh, normal math terms it is 2.5 we need to take the seal of it if we take the seal of it we get the value 3 so how do how did we derive that the two leaf will form one vertex and another two leaf will form one vertex then uh, again one more vertex is there right so that one will actually combine it with here even if 6 by 2 also it will be same only so that's why we are taking the seal how do we implement it if we are able to traverse it through dfs and bfs and get the leaf endpoints also fine 
but there is a lot more easier way that I can show you. If you see here, three is having a child, three is having a child like five, three is having a child like two. This is not directed, this is undirected only, we are not concerned about it. But one is occurring how many times? In the entire graph, one is occurring only one time here, right? One is occurring only uh, one time. So let me change the, okay. One is occurring only one time here. But three is having, three is occurring many times. So we know that three is not a leaf. But one is occurring one time. So we know that one is, ha one is definitely a leaf. You see, one is one. And two is also occurring only one time. In the left side and right side, two is occurring only one time. And four is also occurring one time. And uh, eight is also occurring one time. See? and 9 is also occurring one time. So we can definitely say that uh, these are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 leaves here. You do 5 by 2, 2.5. You take the seal value. How did we implement it? I perhaps took MA of B, MA of A and MA of B. We need or not needed that you can just try out. So I took the count of all the nodes that are coming in the input and whenever the count of any of the node is 1, then I increment the count. Here, count by 2 plus count mod 2. What does it mean? It simply means the seal value of it. What is the proof? See, 5 by 2, it is odd number, right? So 5 by 2 is 2 plus uh, 5 by 2 means I should take the seal value. That is 3 only, right? So 5 mod 2. 5 mod 2, the remainder is what? 1. So if it's even number, like 6 mod 2 something comes means it will be 0. But 6 by 2 will be 3 here, 3 plus 0. So in order to adjust that, you just imagine, remember this is the common way. If else you have to sometimes uh, typecast it to float or double, it might be complicated. So that's why we are not doing it. So count by 2 plus count mod 2. And uh, you simply print the count. So you can see this submission. Uh, so it is pre test passed. I hopefully it will be accepted. So that's it guys. So how did we... Again, how did we come to the conclusion? We just want to uh, reduce the vertex to one. We understood that we need to BFS and DFS. We can't correlate it much with the numbers, the depth and breadth for some numbers. At least I can't do that. So we, the optimal way is to take the extreme ends. Extreme end means what? It is a leaf. So each time any with any operation, we understand that the leaf is only playing a major part. So I want to extract all the leaf. How do we know that? From the input itself, I know the leaf count will occur only one time. And after doing it, I iterate through all the map. And if the count is one, uh, the count will be count plus plus. And you take the seal of it by dividing it by two, then uh, simply print it. That's all guys. Uh, so I know you will, you can check this and if you have any other solutions or any other doubts, please let me know in the comments. We'll be very glad to help you. And uh, if you like the video, please don't forget to share comments. So that's it guys. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.